It was interesting. You mentioned uh, children who get hyperactive throughout the day, and cortisol could be an issue. We mentioned depression drugs, and ADHD, ADD drugs are pretty prevalent as well. Could that be another avenue maybe where people should look instead of jumping right into some of those medications? Oh, um, absolutely. Um, at Neuroscience, I would say about 80% of all the children that we test, the main complaint is uh, ADHD, mm -hmm. uh, ADD and ADHD. And they come either before they're on the meds or they're more than times on meds and they want to get off of them. Mm -hmm. and, and, but we also test neurotransmitters for a number of psychiatrists before they put them on meds to identify whether or not they're a good candidate for that medication. Um, that becomes a little bit, little bit trickier, but when you actually can test someone before you put them on a med to maybe rule out other issues first, mm -hmm. then maybe you reduce the amount of ADHD meds uh, uh, that are pretty much big, uh, major stimulants. You reduce the number of patients taking them maybe by 50%. Then, when you do give them uh, the medication, they might do a, a before and after test because guess what? If the medication doesn't actually boost certain neurotransmitters, norepinephrine, dopamine, phenylethylamine, epinephrine, if those aren't boosted with that medication, they tend to have less of a positive outcome. So it's nice mm -hmm. to track it because it may indicate whether or not they want to maybe try it for an extra week or two weeks to see if it, ha it becomes more effective or maybe try something, a different approach.